So yeah, it's uh, really, really bright in here. So uh, they definitely did not dim some lights. Hello, welcome to Stefan Heats. Uh, finally get to try some dim sum. A uh, really cool place I've heard about called a uh, Deluxe. Uh, originally from Guangzhou, uh, the company itself. Uh, but yeah, very super hungry. And uh, we're gonna try a dim sum. It's a bit on the higher scale of dim sum. So we're gonna try a multitude of dishes, hopefully. And uh, let's go eat. Okay, we just got the two rice rolls. So it looks like we have the shrimp and chive rice roll right here. And then we have that beautiful pinkish uh, rice roll. It looks like there's also shrimp inside and maybe some something crunchy. Uh, so wow, that looks absolutely amazing. Look at the color on this too, absolutely beautiful. You got it? Ho, 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 ho. I'm gonna go for this guy since it's already in my chopstick. And I'm gonna try it in this sauce right here. Let's try this. Mm. Mm. Mm, the textures. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Good. Yeah, it's all about the textures. You get the, just the snappy shrimp, uh, the crunch, and then the peanut sauce, and it all hits you together, and it's beautifully wrapped up. With that kind of mochi-esque uh, rice roll. Uh, that just, this is a real treat. This one's so good. Normal shrimp and chive rice roll. Let's try this. Look at this nice little, nice little shrimp right there. Shrimp is cooked really well. The rice roll. Mm. Mm. Just how I like it. Not too thick, not too thin. Uh, There's a bit of like a texture to it. And then you bite into it, just dissolves. And the shrimp is really well done. Uh, don't taste too much of the chive, but overall very, very solid. Okay, round two. Uh, looks like we have the har gao, which is the uh, shrimp uh, dumpling. Uh, we have the beautiful chicken feet. Look at how big those are. Wow. <laughs> those are monsters. And then you have the, it looks like the honeycomb tripe and the tendon. Uh, you know what? Let's do this guy right Oh, look at the, <laughs> look at the size. This one's a big boy. Okay, I might have to just, oof. It's gonna be tough. Wait, one second. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Oh, there you go. Oh, that is like rocking. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, it's really hot, but oh, it smells very aromatic. A bit of earthiness too. I think the sauce is... Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nicely done. Very gelatinous, falls right off the bone. Uh, you got... The sauce isn't too overpowering actually, so uh, the sauce isn't too strong. You get a bit of a medicinal taste at the end, a little bit. Looks like they put some uh, herbs in there. All right, next is uh, this beauty right over here, the hagao. Hargao? <laughs> uh, I don't think it comes with a sauce, so I normally like having a this is just me personally, but I like the chili sauce that comes uh, that comes with it. But anyways, without the chili sauce, let's just give it a shot. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that chive in there. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Very well done. You taste a bit of the chive also. The skin is not too thick, which is perfect. I, um, I'm. I hate when the skin is too thick on the uh, hargao. This one is very nicely done. And uh, lots of big bits of shrimp. And you get five of them, which is an extra. 
And now this guy here, look at this gnarly bit of tripe right there. Some honeycomb tripe. And this sauce, it's just swimming in that sauce. Oh, look at that. Look at that sauce right there. Let's see. Superbly cooked. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, they did that so well. You get a hint of sweetness right away. Uh, and then you get these little kind of, I think this is a, off the pepper. But that sauce is so aromatic. Uh, that sauce is a little bit sweet. Then you get a bit of a, an aftertaste. I think there's a bit of garlic in there. But the cooking technique they used, um, uh, they've done an amazing job because the tripe just melts right in your mouth. No toughness, no gaminess. Uh, you just get such a great flavor from it. And yeah, look at that sauce just swimming. Whoa. Uh, more just arrived and this is super exciting. This beautiful bean curd, I think it's shrimp, but what is really intriguing is the abalone sauce that they've added on it. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna taste the abalone. I've tried abalone a couple times uh, and I have enjoyed it, uh, but an abalone sauce is very intriguing to me. Uh, let's just get this guy. Oh, look at this bite. Yes, perfect. Wow. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. Oh my God. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Mmm, that's the first thing you get actually. That abalone sauce, just it hits you right away and then it kind of goes into the background. And then the beautiful bean curd and then yeah, the snappiness of that shrimp uh, kind of gets you right at the end. Um, but yeah, wow. Let's just dip it a bit more into that sauce. I wanna see what that sauce is. Oh, that shrimp is falling out. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, you're going in my mouth. Mm, decadent. Mm. Yeah, if I had to describe it in one word, that is decadent. Mm, that is very solid. Uh, let's try these now. This is the shumai with the truffle on it. Now, oh, let me try to grab this guy. Yes, perfect. Look at the little bit of truffle. So I'm just gonna try this guy. One biter? Of course. Yes. Mm, I have tears of joy and also of pain. <laughs> that was incredibly hard, but... Mm. Mm. Outstanding. Mm. So good. Mm. Oh, you get that truffle. And it hits you right away. And then you just get into the deep, porky flavor. That just counterbalances. And the truffle just kind of mixes together with the pork. And you get this beautiful flavor. Uh, it burns, <laughs> it burned the top of my mouth, but what a beautiful flavor this is. Great idea to put the truffle on there. This is just decadence at its finest. Uh, and, and of course, the necessary meatball. Mm. Pretty good, yeah, you get the cilantro in there. I'm not my favorite dish, the meatball. I always find the texture a little bit um, soft, and this one is on the softer side. Uh, but still good flavor, uh, you get a bit of the crunch. Uh, I think it's probably maybe water chestnut, I, I, I could be wrong. And then you get a hint of cilantro at the end. Um, in my opinion, though, a little bit soft for my liking and uh, for the texture. Water chestnut. It is water chestnut, right, yeah. Okay. Continue. <laughs> These are an interesting little item, uh, and since we're since we're looking for something a little bit interesting, uh, let's see how durian-y this is. <laughs> so, people uh, mostly know durian to taste like uh, wet socks or onion or garlic. So, uh, we'll see. This is very mochi-ish. So.
Cool. Oh yeah, that's nice. durian. No. That is. <laughs> that is durian to the, I did not expect, it's pretty much, I think it's just fresh durian in there. I just thought it was gonna be a durian cream. Mm -mm. This is, um, if you like durian, this is your thing. If you're a durian virgin, uh, you might wanna hold off on this just a little bit because it is pungent. Yeah, it is very pungent, very oniony. Uh, big garlicky, bit of the sock, my breath probably smells amazing right now. Next place uh, called Shanghai River, also in Richmond. We came here because we heard they had very good roasted duck, so we are coming here for that. And we'll see, we might get a couple of other dishes. Yeah, let's go. So yeah, we got uh, two things. Uh, so we're gonna get the Peking duck, which is what we came here originally for. Uh, so we're gonna get it two ways, one in a lettuce wrap and one just uh, by itself. And then also the mapo tofu with the, uh, perfect, yeah, thank you. Uh, the mapo tofu, which will come with the uh, spicy uh, ground pork uh, chili sauce, hopefully very numbing flavor on top of that. Okay, round number one of uh, duck goodness. This is just the skin. Look at the beautiful crispy skin. Uh, it looks like it's on top of some uh, shrimp chips and we have uh, the wrappers uh, right here. Now, <laughs> this looks absolutely amazing. Just, whoa, look at that. Look at this beautiful skin right there. You have a little bit of the fat under there. And uh, what you do is you grab one of these uh, very thin pancakes. Oops, I already broke, uh-oh. Well, I guess, uh, Less pancake and more skin. That's not a bad thing necessarily. So let's put that right on there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of this guy on there. Oh. And I'm gonna put an onion on this bite over here. So look at that. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, there you go. Okay, perfect. So look at this right here. So the skin. Wrap it in and then just go for it. Mm. 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 This should be a new wonder of the world. This is so bad. <laughs> mm. Oh, you get the crispiness of the skin. Uh, the beautiful fresh uh, onioniness and then uh, the wrapper is very thin uh, but it's I mean the skin just melts in your mouth you get this kind of crispiness and then just dissolves and the beautiful duck flavor uh, what I love about this one it's not uh, some picking ducks a little bit sweet this one is a perfect flavor very well balanced uh, but oh, the skin <laughs> Round number two of this duck fiesta. Uh, we have the shredded duck and it's gonna go inside of the uh, lettuce, uh, it looks like. So we're just gonna grab this right there, lettuce. And look, whoa, this. Oh, <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Oh, it might be a little bit of vermicelli noodles on the bottom there. Look at that right there. Oh, maybe you get a load of this, right? Very nice. Get a little bit more just for a good measure. And we ordered some beer because why not? And then let's do a bit of a bit of sauce bay here. Look at the sauce right on there. Oh, beautiful. And maybe I'll get a spring onion on this bite. Perfect. Thank you. Awesome. You just leave it up here. Uh, yeah, sure. That's fine. Awesome. Thank you. And the spring onion. Perfect. Okay, and just wrap it up and look at this beautiful 
lettuce of goodness. Ah, oh, lettuce has never been so happy in its life. <laughs> oh, oh, let's eat this. Okay, mm. Mm. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, pinch out for me, yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, a bit saltier. You have pine nuts in there, which adds a very nice little uh, uh, nutty flavor to it. Uh, the lettuce, once again, very nice, holds it all together. Uh, hot, a bit salty. Uh, the bits of duck, uh, juicy, and uh, oh, and then the hoisin sauce and the onion, just a very, very nice bite. Uh, look at this vermicelli on the bottom. So you get this nice little crunchy uh, component to it too, uh, which I was a little bit unexpected on on uh, on my part. Or actually, we didn't expect this at all. Uh, the other dish that it looks absolutely amazing. Look at that mapo tofu. Whoa, man, I'm just gonna go right for a bite of that. I'm not even gonna wait. Said I was gonna get a smaller bite, but I have a bigger bite instead. So <laughs> look at this big bite. Oh, just dripping into the duck. <laughs> okay, cool. Ooh. Oh, mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. oh, the tofu is so soft. And then you get a bit of the spiciness, mm. then you get a garlickiness. And then the and then the pork comes in. And uh, the pork isn't uh, uh, isn't very fine, so it's a nice uh, rough cut of uh, of pork. Uh, it is ground pork, uh, but I like how they didn't grind it up too much. <laughs> and then you get the richness and yeah, and then you get a bit of the tingliness at the end. This is exactly what you want from a mapo tofu. Very solid, but the tofu is good quality. And uh, a little bit of the numbing. Oh, perfect. Amazing. And all this is just a great meal. And uh, yeah, we might finish it. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Oh, what a move. What a move, David, with the move. Oh, yes. <laughs> Add the skin, too. Why not? Put the oh, skin yeah. on there. Skin. Oh, oh yes. Get it. Oh, you just added everything to the bite. What an idea. Why didn't I think of that? That's yeah. why I bring this guy with me. He comes up with other brilliant ideas. I just talk like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Oh, that's it. Yes, perfect. Nice. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I'm a copycat, so I already tried one of these, but oh, everything all together. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the staff were really nice. They actually gave us uh, just these uh, little sesame balls for free. So we're just gonna try them out. Let's see here. A little sesame ball there. Oh, very. Mmm. 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 Coconut. -y. Yeah. You taste them. They coated actually. This is all coconut right over here. And just. Uh, nice sesame balance, a uh, little bit sweet. Yeah, very nice uh, gesture on their part uh, just to um, hand these to us. And uh, yeah, we just finished the meal. Wow, that was very, very epic. Shanghai River in Richmond. Wow, the duck was amazing. And they were all so nice. Uh, everything together went perfectly. We're gonna end the video here, but uh, thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, if you do like our videos, please subscribe to Stefan Eats. Uh, like, comment, and uh, hit the bell icon so when we do come out with other videos, uh, you will be notified. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was a very long day full of epic food. And I really hope you enjoyed uh, the videos of the dim sum and this beautiful duck that we just had. See you very soon and ciao.